Welcome to the homework for Lesson 11. It's Module 3 of Grade 3. Write your name on here first. Now, Jenny bakes 10 cookies. She puts 7 chocolate chips on each cookie. Draw a tape diagram and label the total amount of chocolate chips as C. Write an equation and solve for C. So we've got to do a lot of things here. We've got to draw, we have to draw a tape diagram. We have to label the total amount as C. We have to write an equation and we have to solve for C. We have to do all of those things. So we need a tape diagram. What do we, she has 10 cookies. She puts seven chocolate chips on each cookie. So the tape diagram is going to be 10 sevens. And you may be able to think you know what this is right off and solve it in your head and just write down an answer. But you, you have to practice reading drawing tape diagrams, and writing equations and answer statements. Have to do that every word problem every day. One, two, three, four, five, six. And these are all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, se uh, so that's seven sevens. That's not enough. I need ten sevens because this is each one of these is one cookie. I need more cookies. Eight, nine, ten. It's easy to fix a tape diagram to add more onto it. So the whole amount of chocolate chips, chocolate chip cookies, is C. There. Write an equation. Our equation is going to be 10 sevens equals C. Or you could write C equals 10 times 7. And we go solve for C. What is C? It's 10 times 7. That's pretty easy. That's 70. C equals 70. And here's our statement. <coughs> Jenny uses 70 chocolate chips. There's not actually a question in this, if you noticed, in this uh, word problem. But I imagine that's what it has to be because that's what C is. C is, chocolate ch is how many chocolate chips there are. So our statement should say how many chocolate chips are, and it includes the unit. Mr. Lopez arranges 48 dry erase markers into eight equal groups for his math stations. Draw a tape diagram and label the number of dry erase markers in each group as V. Write an equation and solve for V. All right, so here's our tape diagram. Uh, eight equal groups. We know there's eight equal groups, so... Let me clean that up a little bit. The end of my tape diagram got a little messy. There. So eight equal groups means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines. And label, okay, so draw a tape diagram. Label the number of dry erase markers in each group as V. So that's V in this group, V in that group, V, V, V. V, V, and V. And the whole amount adds up to 48 dry erase markers. And so this is uh, one math station, eight equal groups for his math stations. So this is one math station. Just so we know what the groups, labeled what the groups are. And so here's our equation is 48 divided by 8 equals V. We could also, if division is too scary, you can think of this as a missing factor problem. How many 8s do I need, right? V times 
8 equals 48, and that might be easier to look at. <clears throat> now, you, this may make it more familiar, and you're thinking, okay, well, how many 8s do I need? Well, if you know 5 8s, you could start with that one. That's a really good one to guess to begin with, because you know that's 40, and you can see, well, 40, oh, I need one more 8, so it's got to be 6. So V must equal 6. And that's just one way you might solve it in your head, using uh, <clears throat> one of the easier 8s as a re as sort of a mental reference point and see you know how many more 8s or how many fewer 8s you might need. So V equals you need 6 8s, right, because it's one more than 5. And then here's our statement. Uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Lopez gives each group six markers. Don't forget, we're not counting groups or math stations or we're counting how many markers are in each group. So it gives each group six markers. Number three, there are 35 computers in the lab. Five students turn off an equal number of computers. How many computers does each student turn off? So 35 computers in the lab. Five students turn off an equal number, but we don't know how many. Five students turn off equal, so there's five equal groups. And it comes to 35, so we need a tape diagram with five equal groups. Five equal groups means one, two, three, four lines. <clears throat> and the whole thing is all 35 computers. So student one is going to turn off M computers. So we're counting computers for student one. Right, and this one, this M would be for student two, and this M is for student three, and student four, and student five. They all turned off the same number, which is M. So M, we know the whole, how many computers there are, 35, and we know how many students there are, we're dividing by five. And that equals M. And if division, again, you would rather see this as a missing factor problem, then you could look at this as M times 5 equals 35. And you think, okay, how many 5s do I need? Oh, that's just to count by 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 35, and that's that's the 35 we needed, and that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's 7, that's 7, 5, so it must be 7, so each student turns off 7 computers. Number four, there are nine bins of books. <clears throat> Each bin has six comic books. How many comic books are there altogether? Nine bins of six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should be nine. Each bin has six comic books. And that's one bin. Six comics. And this is what we don't know. And I'm going to label this with uh, C for comics. And I know that there are nine sixes. And that's my product will be C. 
9 times 6 is 56. 54, I mean, so C equals 54. I have 54 comic books. There are eight trail mix bags in one box. Clarissa buys five boxes. She gives an equal number of bags of trail mix to four friends. How many bags of trail mix does each friend receive? There's a little, there's kind of two or three different things going on in this one. Let's just draw our tape diagram. We'll just start with drawing what it says there is. And not, don't try to figure it all out in your head at once. Because that'll just, sometimes it's just too much to keep all in your head and solve it. And you're going to end up doing the wrong things with the wrong numbers. It's better to just draw a picture first and look at it. And usually, by the time you're done drawing the picture, you already know what you're supposed to do. So there are eight trail mix bags in one box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's eight bags. This whole thing is one box. And now uh, she buys five boxes. Five boxes. You could do this whole thing without even doing any multiplication if you just draw tape diagrams and count. Really. So if that's a box, we could just label it. Here, we could do this. Just to show you what tape diagrams can do for you. That's one box. Equals eight bags. You could do this whole thing in one step if you just draw the picture. Otherwise, you're going to have to do two steps. You need five boxes, right? You know, just looking at the lines for each box above, just because it makes it faster. All right. Uh, she has four friends, and she wants to give out trail mix, equal amount to each of her four friends. Okay, so, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You may have figured it out by now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Friend one, friend two, friend three, friend four. Friend one, friend two, friend three, friend four. Friend one, friend two, friend three, friend four. Okay, so how many does friend one get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They all get ten. That's it. I didn't have to multiply or divide or anything. All I did was draw a picture and count. <clears throat> but I know a lot of people won't like that. So I'll show you how to do it the hard way. So here's the hard way to do it. You have to figure out, first you have to figure out uh, how many bags she buys. She buys five boxes, right? So she buys five boxes times eight bags in each box that's five eighths right because it's eight bags and there's five boxes so it's five eighths that's 40. and then she has to divide this 40 among her four friends so that's 40 divided by four friends equals how much that equals 10. And then we have, and you have to, I mean, you have to know what you're doing to figure out what these are, what those equations are. It's a lot easier to just draw the picture and count, I think. 
uh, each friend gets ten bags of trail mix. So it's a two-step problem. First you have to figure out how many bags there are, and then divide by the friends to figure out how many each friend gets. And you have to do both of those things to figure it out. But you, if you draw the picture, it's just a one-step process. Leo earns $8 each week for doing chores. After seven weeks, he buys a gift and has $38 left. How much money does he spend on the gift? So each week, but I'm, we're just going to draw what it says there is in the first sentence. Don't even think about it yet. He earns $8 each week for doing chores. So here's a week. And after seven weeks, there's, an, there's a week, one week, is $8. And after seven weeks, he buys a gift and has 38 left. So after seven weeks, that's seven eighths, right? So that's one, two. Let's draw some room here for some more. Is that going to be enough? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Here's seven eighths. Seven weeks. <clears throat> he buys a gift and has $38 left. Well, if this was a product of eight, then it would be a lot easier. But it's not. It's a little bit less than 40, right? Which would be five eighths. Uh, so we could use that, right? If we were just looking at this tape diagram and we knew it, we could think one, two, three, four, five, eight. So that's a little bit less. We could say if this one, two, three, four, five, eights, if that is 40, then we'll call that 30. We could call that 38 because it would be a little less, right? Then we could do this. And say, well, that's 38. And then you know that there's this 2 here. And then there's these two 8s. Well, this 2 and this 8 together make 10. And that, there's an 8. That's 8. So it's going to be 18. Done. Um, that's the easy way to do it. If you just want to use your tape diagram and know that, and, and you can remember that 5 8s is 40 then you can, you can use your tape diagram like that. It's a powerful thing, way to use the tape diagram, is just to think about what the, what the eights are and, and how you can use them. Because, you know, this whole thing here, this is what, this is what you, otherwise, this is, these, are, these are the steps you're going to have to do. You have to figure out how, many, how much money he has, figure out his total amount of money, right? And that is going to be seven weeks times eight seven eights right that's 56 if you know seven times eight otherwise you might have to do a little count by you know underneath the the eights in your tape diagram to figure out what it is 56 <clears throat> and then uh we should say that um so that's his we'll call that and let's give that unknown and a letter just to kind of that's our total amount of money right total 56 equals T and then we have to take that total and we have to figure out um, how much did he spend on the gift we have to subtract He has 38 left, so if we take the 56 and we have to subtract the 38, 
Okay, 56 minus 38. If you do this vertically, 6 minus 8 you can't do because you don't have enough 1s to subtract 8 1s. So I'm going to have to break up one of those 10s. And that will leave me with 16 1s. 16 minus 8 is 8. 4 minus 3 is 1. So that's 18. And then now I know how much he spent on the gift.